Hey guys, it's Jerry or is point for Kids First. Today we are reviewing the film Snow White and the Seven Dwarfs. This film is, it's a Disney classic. I mean, the animation is beautiful, the songs are just amazing. Like every other movie that Walt Disney made, the stories are just fantastic. And this story begins with the queen realizing that she's not the fairest of them all. However, this queen is very evil and very wicked. So, she orders the death of the girl who's the fairest of them all, Snow White. Snow White does get away, luckily, but that, of course, makes the queen angry. The queen then tries to poison Snow White with a poisonous apple. If you want to find out what happens and if Snow White survives that, you gotta watch the film. And I definitely recommend it because, again, it is a Disney classic. It's the first Disney princess film. It is the first animated feature film that was ever made. And it's the first feature film with the lead with a female leading role. Now you may be wondering, where did I learn all of this? Well, this is the Diamond Edition because the film is almost 100 years old, and there's lots of fun bonus features, including a whole bunch of interviews with Walt Disney himself, a lot about how the film was made, and a lot of background about the film. Just so many cool facts, and I watched them a few times over because it's just so much cool information, and you would never find that anywhere because that. Footage and stuff is from the 1920s, again, almost 100 years old, and it's just amazing to see how they made films back then. And a little fun fact, did you know that Snow White was originally planned to be a blonde, a golden-haired girl? Yeah, and now she's famous for her black, dark, brunette hair. Isn't that an interesting fact? My favorite scene will have to be when the prince and Snow White meet. Now, it's one of the only scenes with the prince, which I personally like. I liked how they focus on Snow White. But the scene is Snow White singing. She's kind of explaining to these birds how this wishing well works. And the prince overhears her beautiful singing. The prince goes and investigates. And it's almost, as they say, love at first sight. They instantly fell in love. And you can see Snow White is a little bit in love as well. While Snow White's a little embarrassed and leaves. But just the music in this and choreography and a lo another fun fact, this is a European fairy tale and they actually got European animators to animate the backgrounds and the background just looks like a beautiful European castle. So overall, very nice job. I loved every aspect of that scene, but definitely my favorite part was the music. They just did an excellent job choreographing that. Now, this film, it is a classic, and I absolutely love it, but it's some aspects I love about it is that the animation, hand-drawn animation, slide by slide, there's something that you just cannot get off CGI, and there's something that's in just written animation, it's like a human touch almost, that is in this hand-drawn animation, nothing else can compare to it, like Walt Disney did with his studio when he made animated films, and every one of his classics, they just have beautiful animation. Snow White, I loved it the most, because there's just so much beauty in the graphics, and just so much detail. And it's really, really sad to see that a lot of films aren't made hand-drawn anymore on CGI. And which is interesting because I know a fun fact. Hand-drawn could actually be a lot faster than CGI. Did you know that? Now, the acting. Of course, the voiceover may not sound as good as it does in the new movies today, but it does sound very nice. Considering that there's barely any voiceover films, like professional 90-minute long voiceover feature films, it was very impressive that they were able to pull it off perfectly. Snow White, the Seven Dwarfs, the Prince, everybody sounds beautifully. And it sounds like voiceover quality from the late 90s, which I thought they did a great job then. And just overall, I mean, it is a Disney classic. And how ambitious Walt Disney was to do something everybody thought was a dumb idea. And they even call it uh, Disney's dumbest, worst idea ever. To create a 90-minute animated long movie. And it's just, it just came out perfectly, and it is their most famous film because of how ambitious it is. Now, this film is definitely meant for all ages. I would say maybe 6 to 11, 6 to 12 to be exact, because those ages would really appreciate the feels of it. I mean, the older kids would appreciate that's almost 100 years old and how hard it is to make the films and the story. And the younger kids would enjoy the colors, the singing, the characters. I just think younger kids wouldn't, like, five, six years old, wouldn't appreciate it as much, and older kids may not enjoy it as much. I definitely recommend it to parents, though, who have really good memories connected to Snow White, because I know when I was young, around five, six years old, I saw Snow White for the first time with my parents and my family, and it was just a wonderful experience, so I definitely recommend that. 
If you would like to get the Diamond Edition of Snow White, you can find it in stores near you. And I give it 5 out of 5 stars because overall, the singing, the animation, the acting, everything, the story, it just all came together very nicely. And it's just all put together perfectly. And it really deserves to be a classic that everybody loves. I'm Jerry Orr, supporting for Kids First. Bye.